Hi. <laughs> what? <laughs> Good evening, everybody. I hope your evening is as cozy as mine because here, like, it's full on autumn storm outside. It's very stormy, the windows are rattling, and it's raining a whole lot, and I can hear it up against my window. So I figured it's the best possible time to sit down and do a little bit of sewing. But today I'm not here for a little bit of sewing. I'm, I'm actually here to show you my little sewing corner. Because you see last year during the pandemic, I um, realized I had a bit of a problem because I was working full time. I was studying on the site where we're all in isolation, as you know, and I just I have one desk that usually doubles as a sewing desk so um, I would you know usually like after work I would clean up my desk and um, pull up my sewing stuff and then clean it up again to prepare it for the morning and with the studies that I was doing on top of that that just didn't work out it wasn't an option anymore because after work I was studying a bit more and then I was sewing so as a result of that what I did was I just stockpiled my sewing stuff on my work desk and moved all of my working stuff to my dining table. So as a, you know, I just basically moved all things around like every evening, like a little bit, you know, to make a little bit of space, make sure that nothing got in any, 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 um, any stains or whatever. And uh, I would just sit there and just eat. And I realized it's not very good and I don't really like it. And I would like to have a sewing desk again. So I moved some things around in my apartment um, and made space for a sewing desk. So now I have two. I have one for working and I have one for sewing. And that's what we're here for today. Um, and also I'm a little distracted because I can see myself, you know, and I can see that it's like almost a super villain lighting with like the one half that is light and the other half that is dark. I kind of like it. I think like this turtleneck is also kind of helping, <laughs> but getting distracted here. We're here in the evening because like I said, that's when I'm sewing almost exclusively, which meant for me that putting my desk in this little corner away from the window doesn't really matter because I have to rely on artificial lighting anyway in order to sew and see my project. So who cares, right? We will move on to the site now to get a little look at it. And then also I will show you some storage options that I have now. All right, so this is it. This is my sewing corner. Um, I can't really say little because it's a very big desk. Um, I need to look at the dimensions, but I think it's 150 long. Um, so it is actually quite big. Uh, lots of space for pinning, lots of space for sewing, which I really, really like. And um, like I said before, it is in a corner where there are no windows, but as you can see, I managed to kind of fix up the artificial lighting situation in quite a good way. I actually don't have the overhead lighting on right now, my general one, um, but uh, this is just to clarify how I just pictured the lighting. Um, I actually went to Ikea for the desk, for the lamps, and also these like overhead lamps, um, the spots. They're just like connected to my closet. One is like going up into the corner here, uh, one is going down to the desk and then I have these two focused kind of working lamps. Um, we will just get a little bit closer. And as you've seen before and here on the side, I have a shelf with some books, some other storage options and I have fabric. And we will look at the fabric in a second, but um, usually on this side, there is fabric that is either up next on the chopping block <laughs> or the fabric that is waiting for some inspiration where I just put it out there and it's right next to my bed. So, you know, when I wake up, I see it um, and usually it sparks some inspiration if I'm waiting for something. But all of these are for my upcoming autumn winter collection 2021. This is the color palette. Um, so you can expect to see these in the coming weeks a whole lot more because I'll be sewing all of these. Okay, so here we have the lamp. Um, it's just like up connected and clamp up to, up to the shelf here. So it is a bit higher and I can move it around. And the second one is just here on the side. And um, as you can see, I'm kind of sewing the evening arch nemesis right now, which is black fabric. <laughs> because as you may or may not know, but black fabric on uh, no, sorry, black thread on black fabric is a bit of a nightmare to 
so and especially unpick if you make a mistake and you need to undo a seam you because right it just disappears kind of into the fabric um, especially like on areas like here um, you know you just need to do and be work very precisely and um, like these overhead ones they just you know I can just move them down and I can especially move this one down so I have focused lighting and it allows me to work on black fabric in the evening and without a problem and as well like I can just you know make it a bit brighter for my sewing machines as well which is nice so that I can just you know like pull it up right close and work this way Actually, next up, because I have some storage options on the side as well, we will, I will see you again in the morning because that's when we're gonna be able to fully look at it. And we are back this morning. Good morning, I hope you slept well. Let's look at my storage options and then I'll get a coffee, okay? So this is what it looks like. There you can see my bed, so it's like actually really close um, to my bed, just tucked away in this corner. Um, and let's get going. Let's maybe start here. Um, I have this basket on the side. It holds, as you can see, it holds some patterns. It holds a lot of tracing paper and um, <laughs> some Christmas paper because, I don't know, I hope I'm gonna get rid of this now because I kind of want to get a new one. And then, uh, as mentioned yesterday as well, we have the shelf, the shelf with the fabrics. And we have a bunch of sewing books, a bunch of pattern books. Um, and then we have this lovely little thing here. Uh, before we get into it, look at this little dude. He's so angry. He's so angry, makes me laugh. I found him when I was, when I went to my coffee, favorite coffee place here, and it was just out. Okay, this is uh, literally the box of Pandora. Um, we have all the buttons in here. So I color coded them. This is like only one side. What? And um, I also have these handy little things for some buttons that are mixed. Um, and yeah, some more buttons down there. And I also have more buttons here on the side in these lovely little boxes. If I can open them with one hand, it's not so easy. which is all of them are blue. And you know I love this electric blue color. And recently I could get um, just a whole bunch of these blue buttons. They're, they're, they don't really match, but I love them anyway. Um, and next to my books I have a couple of fabric samples just ready to go. Just a little styling. A cute little graphic I got from one of my lovely friends. And then I have this. This is an old um, cigar case from one of my grandmas that I just had to glue back together because it was broken. And it just holds my regular necessities, right? What I need, like some glue, something for marking fabric. I have uh, something to... Can it focus? Oh yeah, something to take care of the overlocked seams to pull the end through and you know, something to unpick as well. Just like the most regular stuff. Um, okay, this we have. I have uh, my fabric scissors and some general scissors up there as well as the ruler. And that is pretty much all the storage up here. So let's move closer to the floor because I do have the regular trestles from Ikea and there is room on there, as you can see, for some boxes and other things. Um, first, let's start here on the side. I hung a little ironing board for ironing my sleeve seams on the side. Um, in this little box here are my unfinished projects. Um, I recently went through them, so there's not a whole lot in here. Uh, I will get around to it at some point. This one is a little rope that's I think like 95% finished, to be honest with you. I just have to sew it. And here on the other side, it looks a bit more messy. <laughs> I have a lot of patterns here, as you can see, just um, there in the side. I have uh, my instruction manuals for my sewing machines that I have. And then I have a little box down here. Let's move a little bit closer. Okay, it's focusing. First I have, um, 
a little embroidery hoop here. I have some pattern weights down here. And then let's open this little thing. It's an old chocolate box. Oh, and it's holding my embroidery thread and a cute pair of scissors somewhere in there. But um, that is it for the storage. Oh no, almost. <laughs> Checked underneath here between the plate and the trestle is my sketchbook. Here we are at the other side of my room. Um, from the pictures, you all know my lovely, lovely plant, my lovely massive snake plant. Um, it's just sitting in the corner, usually uh, tucked behind my other desk that is right there. And um, this here holds my thread. As you can see, it is a bit color coordinated and um, I know I have a lot, but let's keep in mind I'm sewing a lot and I've been sewing for a long time. And I've also um, inherited a lot, a lot, a lot of storage and um, just why is this here? It probably fell off my desk. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Just a little felt pen in there. Um, I wanted to say I, I inherited a lot of uh, thread and buttons and everything from grandmothers and also from um, other people that just know that I sew. So, you know, I have a lot of stuff. Uh, some more thread, I have needles and underneath here because I can pull it up. Um, are my snap fastenings and uh, some uh, some other sewing gear. Nothing too crazy when it comes to this. Um, and my beautiful desk, like my old desk from my mom has a lot of storage. And on the right side, it's only sewing on the left side is only work related. And up here I have a lot of elastic, as you can see, like different kinds. This one is more for sewing underwear. Um, this is also for underwear fold over elastic. And there's some regular elastic in here. Then we have, because uh, it's an old, old one, you know, it's not getting up so easy. We have, yeah, just like a weird assortment of I don't even know how to call this. Bands. You know what I mean. <laughs> you saw it. And then we have zippers, like a lot, a lot of zippers. And I also I got once a um, massive collection of um, used zippers that I also like to use. Uh, so I don't have to buy new every time. Um, as you can see, this is stuff for making lingerie as well, for bras and uh, you know, the rings that you need and the sliders. And then we have another assortment of just some different type of straps, I would say. There's some leather in there. There's a belt uh, that I cut up at some point. There's, oh yeah, a buttonhole cutter. I got that one for, for uh, Christmas, I believe, and it saved me in one of my denim projects. And I have some sewing machine oil behind because you know gotta keep the machine alive um okay i'm gonna return that later and down here this one is looking very stuffed i have some samples from spoonflower some fabric samples to look at and in here is where the goodies are all of these are wait, let me get it out because it's very dark okay better um so here we have lining, different types of linings. Then we have some interfacing, different types, because there is an online store that sells them quite in larger quantities and I get a bigger quantity and I just split it up with my mom who's also sewing. And that is it for my sewing storage, for my just gear and little haberdashery storage. I do have more storage for fabric, but to be honest with you, I think I'll leave that for another day because I also need to gather up the strength to show you and probably clean up a little bit. <laughs> so have a good rest of your day and I'll see you another time. Bye.